Good evening, Jonna and Brennan, and all of those out there watching. Welcome to our home and to the 2020 Reflections Benefit and Auction supporting the Dougie Center and Grieving Families and Children. I'm Ashley Gunter. And I'm Mike Gunter. As co-chairs, we'd like to take a moment and just say that this year is going to work a little differently than previous years. We may not be at the Portland Art Museum in tuxes and gowns, but we can still take a moment and recognize the amazing work the Dougie Center does in our communities and across the globe. We're also excited to be able to open the event up this year to additional supporters all over the U.S. Obviously, this year is different because of the global pandemic. What that means is that now more than ever, your support makes a huge difference to those grieving families and children. So please join us, click those buttons, raise those virtual paddles high, and join us in giving to the Dougie Center. Thank you and enjoy your evening. Hi, I'm Chris Moore. My spouse Ryan and I want to issue a challenge to you and to other first time donors. If the Dougie Center gets 25 new supporters tonight, first time givers, we will make a gift of $2,000 to match your generosity and support these children. So please give as generously as you can and know that there will be a match. And then when it's safe to resume operations, I invite you to visit the Dougie Center so you can see for yourself this place that brims with support, encouragement, connection, and belonging. Thank you. Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Hara and I'm so proud that once again this year KinderCare is sponsoring the Dougie Center's Reflections Benefit. It's a different year this year and there are so many unknowns, but one of the things that I know is that the Dougie Center's services of supporting and creating a community for children and families who are grieving are needed more than ever. In my time supporting the Dougie Center, one of the things that I've learned is that grief is just a part of life. And that is true now more than ever. And it is why I am such a believer and such a supporter of the work that so many do at the Dougie Center. I'm proud to be a part of it. And I hope you join me and my family in supporting them this year as we've done for so many years. Thanks. Thank you so much to our co-chairs, Ashley and Mike Gunter, and our presenting sponsor, KinderCare Education. And for the generous challenge to new donors, Chris and Ryan, thank you. I also want to extend my deep appreciation to Linda and Reg Eklund, as well as to our board of directors for the $50,000 match that has been in effect over the last week. And good evening to you all. Welcome to Reflection. I am Brennan Wood, the Executive Director here at the Dougie Center, the National Center for Grieving Children and Families based in Portland, Oregon, where we are coming to you live tonight from our East Side location. Many of you already know my story, that I came to the Dougie Center in 1987 after my mom Doris died when I was just 12 years old. And that was just about five years after our founder, Bev Chapel, started the program. I have often shared about the positive impact that the Dougie Center had on my life. During a time that was devastating, chaotic, and just plain hard, the Dougie Center was my one soft place to land, my port in a very turbulent storm. The peer support groups here, where I was able to share my experience with other kids my age who had also experienced a death in their family, they were my lifeline. Our families can stay in our program for as long as they need to be here because we know that grief is not a six week program, but a lifelong process. So when I closed from my group about a year and a half after I started, I came back and was a volunteer. You see, we depend on over 250 trained volunteers to support our master's level program staff who run our groups. So, Big shout out to all of the Dougie Center volunteer facilitators out there tonight that are joining us. You are amazing and I miss you. <laughs> After leaving Portland for most of my 20s, I returned home 16 years ago to work at the Dougie Center. I started off at the front desk, 
welcoming new families and making the coffee. And I worked my way up to becoming executive director about five years ago now. And I am so honored and privileged to work each day alongside a truly outstanding staff to further this mission that I believe is more critical in this moment than it possibly ever has been. And I am continually humbled by all of the partnership and support that the Dougie Center receives from you, our loyal community. In a normal year, <laughs> I would be standing in front of you at the Portland Art Museum, but we all know that this is not a normal year. When the pandemic started, my first concern was the health and safety of the families that attend the Dougie Center, our volunteers, and our staff. And of course, doing our part to help mediate the greater risk to the community. We immediately shifted our entire staff to work from home and began to plan how to support grieving families when we could no longer be together in person. We have not missed one day of answering calls for support and resources, of which we receive about 25,000 over the course of a typical year. It was critical to us that grieving families who often feel so isolated in their grief, even when we aren't in the midst of a stay at home order, know that although we might have to be apart, that they are not alone. That even though we are physically distancing, we do not have to distance ourselves emotionally. I am really proud to share that we have 22 virtual support groups running with each age range and special population represented, including our Pathways program for families facing an advanced serious illness. And we are adding more groups as needed. We have also launched three closed Facebook groups to provide resources and information to our families and our young adults, and another to bring our volunteers together. We have produced many resources, including tip sheets and podcasts that are being disseminated worldwide on the direct impacts of grief in the time of coronavirus, including information on how to support children and families when a loved one is dying in a hospital or a care facility and you can't be together as a family. And here we are this evening, bringing our signature fundraising event to you, our supporters, our friends, and our community in a virtual way. One in 14 kids in the United States will have a parent or a sibling die before they turn 18. Last year, there were over 49,000 grieving kids in Oregon alone, living in a home where a parent or a sibling had died. 36% of Dougie Center families are living at or below the federal poverty level. And of course, none of this takes into account the significant impacts of the current global pandemic on those already grieving, those who have family members die from other causes during this time, or those impacted directly by a death from COVID-19. All right, <laughs> so let's talk about this for just a moment. What is the magic of the Dougie Center model? What is it about the services and resources that we provide that are so transformative? What is it that we do that is so radically different? The answer to this is both incredibly simple and incredibly complex at the same time. The answer is that we sit with it. We sit alongside people in their darkest moments, whether in person, virtually, or through our resources. We come alongside them and we hold the space. We weather the storm. We, <laughs> they're jamming. <laughs> we allow for and validate the sorrow, the pain, the injustice, the questions, the longing, the fears. Grief is natural, grief is normal, grief is healthy. We grieve as deeply as we love. And when we can hold the space for the immense, immenseness of that, there becomes just a little more room, a little less pressure, a window cracks and lets in just a little light. And over time, there becomes space for meaning making. There becomes space for connection. There becomes space to hold on to the love and there becomes space for hope for the future. Look, <laughs> There's a lot we can't control right now. I bet you at home are feeling that on a daily basis. I know that I am. The unfortunate reality is that grieving people 
are very familiar with this feeling. And the Dougie Center is one place where it is okay to have those feelings. It's okay to acknowledge them and allow them to just be. What we can do is share the hope, healing, and connection that is built through the Dougie Center, through our support and through our resources, creating meaning and creating a shared understanding that when hard things happen, we are not alone in this world. We can't change grief or the fact that millions of families across the world are grieving right now. But together with your support, we can change the resources that they have access to while they are grieving. We can make it easier to sit with the feelings that come with grief. We can help them recognize that death and illness doesn't end the love. That we all have the capacity, we all have the ability, we all have the right to keep loving. Tonight, although we are not together in person, I would like to think that we are together in spirit. Together, we are changing lives through the magic of the Dougie Center. Together, in the spirit of hope, healing, and connection, we can know and show others that we don't have to grieve alone even when we are apart. So please raise a glass to making a difference tonight for the most vulnerable among us while you join me inside our home. And here we are coming to you now from the living room of the Dougie Center's Southeast Portland home, where until March, about a thousand grieving people pass through a month to find hope, healing, and connection. Please know that we are following all CDC guidelines to keep our staff and partners safe. And we are here with just a few other people, properly physical, physically distanced, who are providing us with technical support. We do have a team standing by in their homes to help you virtually with any technical support that you might need. We have an incredibly inspiring program to share with you tonight highlighting the life-saving model of the Dougie Center and the impact that it has and continues to have on literally hundreds of thousands of people here in Portland, Oregon, across the country, and around the world. Please feel free to join in with us through the Facebook live stream chat. We've seen that you guys are already starting that. We would love to hear from you. Equity is very important to us here at the Dougie Center. It is a focus of our strategic plan that we continue to fully operationalize our commitment of providing a safe place for all children and families who are grieving a death, especially those who experience marginalization in important aspects of their lives. As a part of that commitment, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge that the Dougie Center rests on the traditional lands of the Chinook and Confederated Tribes of the Grand Ronde peoples. If you are interested in learning more about our commitment, our full statement of equity and inclusion is available on our website at Dougie.org. I am so honored <laughs> to be joined here tonight in this celebration by my friend and extraordinary community champion, Jonna Wells. Thank you, Brennan. Hello to everyone at home tonight. Thank you so much for joining us in this virtual fundraising celebration for the Dougie Center. It's truly an evening honoring the hope and healing and connection that can be found here each and every day. Um, and to all of our viewers that are watching from home, and I've been told that we have a viewing audience from all over the country. In fact, hello, Rhonda. Uh, from Maryland, Madeline, Florida, it looks like we've got you popping in on our, our donor screen tonight. Thank you. Caitlin from Bellingham, Washington. Thank you. Thank you. We've got lots of friends joining our chat feed here tonight, and we're so honored that you've chosen to be here and be part of this celebration. You know, everybody at home has uh, their own reasons for why the Dougie Center speaks to their heart. And as we move through tonight's virtual celebration, I encourage all of you to remind yourselves of that heart speak. I know for me personally, I've had the opportunity to champion for the work of the Dougie Center for 15 years. Beautiful friendships have been formed here and incredible opportunities to really celebrate the work of the Dougie Center and champion for the grieving children and families that they serve. And tonight we invite you to celebrate the work of the Dougie Center as well and take part in the many opportunities that are available this evening to showcase 
your support. So as we do just that, I want to take just a few moments to guide you through how to participate in tonight's event. Obviously, you're tuned in on Facebook Live right now watching our virtual stream, so thank you again for being here. And if you'd like to showcase that support here tonight, we're going to encourage you to either grab a second device, perhaps it's a tablet, perhaps it's another computer, maybe it's your phone, or you're going to just open up another window in your computer browser. And if you'd like to showcase that support in our online auction and our moment of giving for child sponsors, Sponsorship, you'll need to be registered. So that's why those secondary devices come in handy. If you're already registered to bid and you're at home and you're thinking, well, I've already done that, then you're all set and you're ready to go. If you've not yet done so, take this opportunity to head on over to the following website. We're going to show that to you on our screens at home. And it's www.reflection2020.ggo.bid. Once you get there, you're going to click Start Bidding in the upper right-hand corner. And then you're going to click on the green create account button. And after you do that, you're all set. It's really easy to do. And of course, if you happen to have any technical questions, if you're moving through those channels and you'd like a little additional support, you can contact us through our live stream chat, which we've got access to right now. And you can also email us at reflection at Dougie.org. And we have several team members standing by, socially distanced, of course, waiting to help you tonight. Before we launch into the rest of tonight's fundraising celebration for the Dougie Center, again, we're going to start things off by saying thank you to all of our friends that registered in advance, that RSVP'd to attend this virtual celebration, because it's really thanks to you, each and every one of you at home, this treasured community of donors, that the Dougie Center continue to extend this suite of services and support for grieving children and families. So again, we want to say thank you. So we've prepared a $250 gift certificate for a non-contact food delivery from your favorite local restaurant through Caviar. So again, if you RSVP'd for this event prior to May 1st, your name was automatically entered into a drawing, and I have those raffle tickets right behind me. And as you can see, we have a full bowl full of raffle tickets here. So we're gonna pull a winner again. This is just our initial way to say thank you for tuning in, for registering, for being part of tonight's celebration. And Brandon, we've got a winner. Great. And I have the winning raffle ticket in my hand. And I apologize in advance if I mispronounce your name. This is a beautiful name, Aaron Siswesky. Sis Aaron Siswesky. We are going to be contacting you. We'll pull your name and contact information up on our registration page and make sure that we get this $250 gift certificate to you. So again, this is just a first way that we can say thank you for those viewers joining in at home. Again, tonight's celebration is really an opportunity for us to pay tribute to the hope, healing, and connection that's found at the Dougie Center. And we're just getting started. So please be sure to stay with us until the end of tonight's virtual event when we're going to be pulling the coveted winning raffle ticket for a brand new Porsche Boxster. Now, this raffle has been part of the Dougie Center's Reflection Benefit for years, and it is such an exciting opportunity for people throughout the Portland community and really truly beyond to celebrate the work of the Dougie Center. Every year, thousands of these raffle tickets are sold. In fact, we've sold over 1,700 raffle tickets at this moment in time, and we'd like to extend our immense thanks to Portia Beaverton for their ongoing partnership for this annual raffle and their ongoing support of the Dougie Center. Again, this event is about the hope, healing, and connection that is found at the Dougie Center. And a bit later, we're going to be able to hear from a few people who have been impacted by the Dougie Center services. Tonight is also about creating a fun and engaging opportunity for our friends at home to champion for their efforts to support grieving children and families worldwide. And that's where our online auction comes in, which is happening right now. Again, you can continue to bid on most of our auction packages through tomorrow at noon. However, we've got a curated selection of packages, packages one through five, which have been established just for tonight's program. So we've already had a lot of bid activity happening on those. Packages one through five will only be available throughout the remainder of tonight's program. So make sure to place your bids on those first and foremost, and then keep that support coming in. Again, the remainder of our auction will be available through noon tomorrow. You know, again, Every bid that you showcase tonight, whether you choose to participate in the online auction, whether you choose to showcase your support in our forthcoming moment of giving to champion for our child sponsorships, it is truly an opportunity to ensure that that hope and healing can continue to shine brightly for grieving children and families. 
And it's truly thanks to this unwavering community of donors, to you, our friends at home, each and every one of you that are joining us tonight, that the Dougie Center's model was able to become a model in the first place, the first of its kind, a pioneer, national leader in the field of childhood bereavement. In fact, many of the Dougie Center staff are experts who serve on national and even international boards and committees, including FBI's Children and Mass Casualties Work Group. And tonight, we're very honored to have a few of these incredible advocates and Dougie Center champions joining us virtually to share just a little bit more about this incredible internationally and nationally acclaimed peer support model. My name is Vicki Jay, and I have the honor of serving as the National CEO for the National Alliance for Grieving Children, the NAGC. On behalf of many, I would like to express our gratitude to the Dougie Center for the impact they have had across our nation and beyond on personal lives and the well-being of grieving children, as well as the field of childhood bereavement. Over 20 years ago, the Dougie Center, along with others, recognized the need for a national representative group for grieving children. Donna Sherman is a founding member of the NAGC, and both she and Brennan Wood have served as board members and have been instrumental in ensuring that best practices for serving bereaved children are honored across the nation. On behalf of our members and those they serve, we are grateful for the critical role that the Dougie Center plays in ensuring that no child grieves alone. Hi and welcome. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Donna Sherman, the Senior Director of Advocacy and Training at the Dougie Center. I started as a volunteer in 1986 and was the Executive Director for 25 years. I thought I'd do about five years at the Center and move on to something else. But as I started listening to children and teens and their parents and adult caregivers, I found that they often felt isolated, misunderstood, and alone and realized how important the services at the Dougie Center are, the connection with those who've experienced something similar. We know that during this time of sheltering in place and physical distancing, that that isolation and lack of social support is heightened for families who've had someone die or who will have someone die during this time. The work we're doing is needed more than ever so thank you so much for your support, for being here, and for supporting the families who need us at this time. Thank you. Hi everyone, it's Brooke and Brian Greasy, co-founders of Judy's House. We're happy to be with you tonight to honor the Dougie Center in this virtual celebration. The Dougie Center holds a special place in both of our hearts. 19 years ago, we traveled to Portland, Oregon and toured the Dougie Center and became inspired as to how to put a children's bereavement center together. We came back to Denver, started Judy's House, and have been partners with the Dougie Center ever since. The Dougie Center are truly pioneers in our field, and we're thrilled to have them as a part of our National Childhood Bereavement Changemakers Initiative funded by New York Life Foundation. Together, we're collaborating to identify areas for expansion in Portland where children and families need their vital services most, now more than ever. So here's to you, the Dougie Center. Thank you for many, many years of service. Thank you for supporting the Dougie Center, and we look forward to many more years of partnership together. A huge thank you to Dr. Donna Sherman, Donna, thank you for joining us, and to Vicki Jay from the National Alliance for Grieving Children and Families, and Brooke and Brian Greasy, thank you so much. The Dougie Center is thrilled to be in partnership with Judy's House as part of the Childhood Bereavement Changemakers Collaborative that Brooke mentioned. The Dougie Center is also in a three-year partnership with the New York Life Foundation, and that is entirely focused on concretizing the Dougie Center model and best practices for further dissemination for the field. So look for a new Dougie Center website and online training opportunities and a new book on the model coming out in the very near future. And you are right, Jonna. In our 38 year history, when individuals or communities can't come to the Dougie Center, we have strived to bring the Dougie Center model and resources to them, including direct support after 9-11, the earthquake and tsunami in Japan. In fact, I think there's 12 Dougie Center modeled programs in Japan now, and in Sandy Hook, Connecticut, among many, many others. 
You know, and it's so inspiring to hear about both the international impact that the Dougie Center has had and also the regional and local impact as well. And it's truly heartening to hear about the people who care so much about the Dougie Center and for grieving people everywhere. You know, the Dougie Center has such a strong focus of support on local programming and on local families here in Portland. And from this very epicenter, the impact of the Dougie Center truly ripples out all across the country and around the world. In fact, I, I'm just seeing that we've got somebody tuning in from Canada tonight. So hello to our friends in Canada. And that's why we're here tonight, to keep this important work happening now and into the future. Our goal tonight is to raise $500,000 to keep supporting those families, receiving compassionate care and support by the Dougie Center right here, right now, and to keep the Dougie Center strong so that they are here to support those that need it most in the aftermath of the pandemic. And as you heard earlier, Chris Moore and Ryan Wilcoxon will be contributing $2,000 to match the first 25 people who've never made gifts to the Dougie Center before, they're going to match your contributions dollar for dollar. So if you've not participated in support for the Dougie Center before, your gifts can go that much further tonight thanks to this matching challenge. This is a wonderful way to encourage new friends to participate tonight. And again, we're also excited to, to share and, and remind everyone at home, as Brendan mentioned earlier, that we have that sensational $50,000 matching challenge that's been put forth by Linda and Reg Eklund and the Dougie Center's incredibly generous and inspiring board of directors. You know, this is just an incredible opportunity to allow for our support for the Dougie Center to go that much further tonight. Yes, and it's so wonderful to hear about all of this generous support. Linda Eklund, Linda has been an incredible volunteer at the Dougie Center and she works with the adults who bring their kids in their support groups and she's been doing that for over 27 years now. Also, it's such a cool thing, Reg gave this show of support of the Dougie Center to Linda for her 80th birthday. So a huge thank you to both Linda and Reg from me. Absolutely. Our thanks go out to you. Incredible generosity already kickstarting tonight's celebration. And for those of you that have attended the Dougie Center's Reflection Benefit in the past, you know that each year we have the opportunity to celebrate a collection of phenomenally inspiring children's art in our silent auction. And though we are truly missing that opportunity to see these pieces and these youth in person at this event, we're honored to have five of those pieces created by Dougie Center kids being featured in our online auction tonight. And here and now, we'd like to just take a moment to give thanks to these children for joining us in spirited support tonight with their beautiful creations. So hello to Ivy watching at home. Thank you for joining us with your artwork tonight. Meadow, Raina, Elijah, hello to all of you joining us at home and an entire group of children the Dougie Centers, at the Dougie Center's Walker's House in Canby participated in this as well. Thank you to all of you for joining us and creating artwork that was derived from the question, what is courage? And these pieces, again, will remain open in our online auction until tomorrow at noon. So again, if you've not yet registered to participate in the showcase of support, make sure to do just that. Now's the time to take us up on that opportunity to move through those channels to get registered to participate in that showcase of support. So again, you're going to want to head over with another device or through another window on your browser. You're going to want to head over to the following website, wwwreflection 2020 dot ggo dot bid you're going to click start bidding which is located in the upper right hand corner of your screen you're going to then click the green account button and after you do that you're all set it's as easy as that those kids art pieces are so heartwarming it's one of my favorite parts of the reflection benefit every year to see the kids art and to see them so proud of their art and so proud to support the Dougie Center. Meadow shared with us that courage is doing something even though you are afraid. And Raina says that courage is being yourself. And I am so fortunate to see courage in our kids and families each and every day. The Dougie Center's expertise and mission focus is so critical. It's always critical, but it's so critical during this coronavirus pandemic. And I wanna say thank you again to each of you who are joining us to each of you who have contributed or bid on an auction item. Right now, across the nation and across the world, people are grieving in new and unfamiliar ways. Children are grieving in isolation from their peers and the support that they might receive at school or community groups. Many of our Dougie Center participants tell us that 
while they are physically distancing, they feel that the grief over the death of their family member has been overshadowed by the pandemic. And the concerned questions or check-ins that they're getting are no longer about their loved one's death. Other Dougie Center participants who are participating in our virtual realm right now, they feel a sense of connection to the global grief that so many people are writing and talking about in those virtual support groups and through all of the resources that the Dougie Center provides, grieving children, teens, young adults, and their families, they can express their feelings without judgment. They can connect and they can learn that they are not the only person in the world who feels the way that they do. And you are an absolutely critical piece of the Dougie Center puzzle. We simply could not do what we do without your generous support. We have a short video tonight that's highlighting the impact that your support of the Dougie Center makes in the lives of grieving kids here in Portland, across the nation, and around the world. At the Dougie Center, we know grief. For over 38 years, the Dougie Center has provided grief support groups to children and families in their time of need, free of cost for as long as participants choose. The model of the organization is the foundation for over 500 other grief support centers across the globe. These programs rely on our training, resources, and expertise. There's an active shooter situation in South Florida. In times of crisis and loss, individuals, professionals, communities, and hospitals call on the Dougie Center for guidance. Today, that worldwide need is greater than ever and growing every day. As the death toll rises, and the world struggles to cope with the immediate needs, we continue to provide a place for hope, healing, and connection in the face of the immense grief that follows such immense loss. Something that I wish people knew about grief is that it's not something that inherently needs to be fixed, um, but rather something that people can make connections over. We all have something in common at the Dougie Center. I feel supported with all the other kids that are here and know that I'm not the only one. It gives me a chance to uh, express my feelings with other individuals that have had the same thing happen to them. Because of the Dougie Center, I can talk about it. That's so important. I feel incredibly understood and there's space for me to share my story without judgment. The dialogue that goes on between, you know, different families is, is, is the best thing you could really hope for in a situation like ours. I found going to the Dougie Center that um, I was able to realize that my grief was not something that I should be ashamed of. And I find that support and that sense of understanding and kinship and coming together around death, which is already such an isolating experience to be so important, especially now in the time of coronavirus. I feel so grateful, so, so grateful to have this resource. The Dougie Center is here, even as we are apart, to hold space for difficult emotions and to remind every grieving person, you are not alone. Together with your support, we can keep these vital resources available locally, nationally, and internationally. Please give generously. Every dollar makes a difference in the life of a grieving child. And that video is such a powerful tribute to the work of, of the Dougie Center, just a really incredible showcase of, of the hope and healing that can be found here. You know, and here and now, we would like to invite all of our friends that are watching us from home to take part in what we like to call our moment of giving. This is an opportunity to support our child sponsorships here at the Dougie Center. And again, if you've not yet done so, we're just gonna remind you how you can participate in this moment of giving. You'll grab a second device, a mobile phone, or a tablet, or an additional viewing window from your computer, and you're gonna head on over to the following website, www.reflection2020.ggo.com. 
bid. You'll click start bidding in the upper right hand corner and then once you're logged on you can just scroll down and click donate now. You should see buttons with various donation amounts or even a custom button that can allow for you to showcase support at a level of giving that speaks to you directly. And though we'll be moving through several formal levels of giving tonight, you can truly give and showcase your love for the Dougie Center at any time, at any amount, just again simply by clicking that donate now button. As we segue into our first formal level of giving, that of $10,000, we'd once again like to really celebrate the incredible generosity of Linda and Reg Eklund tonight, along with the Dougie Center's incredibly generous board of directors for presenting tonight's phenomenally generous matching challenge, again, in hopes of inspiring everyone joining us from home. That includes every one of you tonight to champion for the Dougie Center. Again, they're matching the first $50,000 raised this evening, which is just an incredible, incredible showcase of support. So again, our first formal level of giving tonight is $10,000. And if a gift of $10,000 speaks to your heart tonight, again, click that donate button. Click that donate button on your browser right here and now and champion for the Dougie Center to ensure that hope and healing can continue to shine brightly for grieving children and families. Again, these opportunities, we're just getting started right here and now to click that donate button. And it looks like we've got activity coming in. Ashley and Mike Gunter are giving a gift of $10,000. Oh, Thank you so much. Amazing. Ashley is a member of our board of directors, longtime supporter of the Dougie Center. Thank you, Ashley and Mike, so much. We've got friends joining us from Hawaii. It looks like coming in on our chat feed as well. They're here to celebrate the work of the Dougie Center as are Bob and Peggy Fowler. They're coming in with a gift of $10,000. Thank you to the Fowlers. Amazing. Bob has been a long time Dougie Center volunteer for decades. He has been coming in and you can often find him on the basketball court. And, and at the reflection benefit, you know, Absolutely. so many of these friends, you know, we've, we've grown accustomed to the joy of seeing each other every year at this benefit. And though we can't be together in person tonight, we feel your spirited support here this evening at our virtual benefit. So thank you for joining us tonight. And it looks like more support is coming in. We have a gift from Tom and Beanie Wyatt oh, with a gift of $10,000. That is amazing. Tom is the CEO of Kindercare Education. And we have a partnership with Kindercare Education to produce resources for the youngest grievers. It's amazing. That's, thank you, Tom and Beanie. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We have Barbara and Jock Kimberly joining us with a gift of $10,000. Oh, thank you. That's amazing. And Barbara, another longtime Dougie Center volunteer. So many volunteers showcasing an incredible amount of support for the grieving children and families at the Dougie Center. Thank you so much. Indeed, and again, if that first formal level of giving inspires your support as well, click that Donate Now button. Make that contribution known. Take part in the sensational matching challenge that's been presented to us tonight by Linda and Reg Eklund alongside the incredibly generous board of directors here at the Dougie Center. Again, that's just our first formal level of giving. As we continue on, that next formal level of giving is $5,000. And if a gift of $5,000 speaks to your hearts at home tonight, again, click that donate button right here and now and empower the Dougie Center in their continued efforts to provide children and families coping with the death of a family member with access to this nationally and internationally acclaimed peer support model. Brennan, I understand that the Dougie Center is actively serving families that have been impacted by COVID-19 death, yeah. and so our support tonight is even more critical. We sure are, and because of confidentiality, we don't share a lot of details, but we are actively serving families that have had their person die from COVID-19 coronavirus. So again, click that Donate Now button. If a gift of $5,000 speaks to your heart or at any level of giving, again, we're formally moving through several touchstones tonight, several opportunities for you to champion for the work of the Dougie Center. And if at any time your heart speaks says, I want to give a gift to the Dougie Center, we celebrate that support at any level of giving. Again, we've made it really easy to take part in that. Head to that secondary website, click that Donate Now button, make that support known. And every single gift makes a huge difference for the Dougie Center. Absolutely. And it looks like we have support coming in from Charles and Mimi Mello tonight. Incredible. Thank you. Charles is our current board chair, so thank Excellent. you so much, Charles and Mimi. And I hope Charles wouldn't mind me sharing that Charles came through the Dougie Center program when he was a kid, much like me. And he just has an incredible heart for the work we're doing. So thank you, Charles and Mimi. 
And so many of you that are joining us at home have been personally touched by the work of the Dougie Center, whether you yourself have come through, through the Dougie Center home and have been able to be supported by their incredible suite of supportive services, or whether you've attended the Reflection Benefit year after year because this work speaks to your heart. This is such an, an incredible opportunity for all of us to, again, really tap into what it is about the Dougie Center that is meaningful to us and showcase that, that love through, through our support tonight by making these contributions known. And it looks like our friends at Northwest Natural are coming in with their support to make oh. their love for the Dougie Center known tonight. Longtime Dougie Center supporters, thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you to those friends at Northwest Natural. And we have Chris and Barbara Nelson joining us tonight. Thank you. Oh, again, these longtime Dougie Center supporters are coming through for us. Chris and Barbara, Chris was our board of directors. He was our chair of our board of directors for a long time. So thank you so much. And again, if this is a level of giving that speaks to you, click that Donate Now button. If there's another level of giving that speaks to your heart, make that support now, known here and now. We would be so honored to recognize, recognize that support tonight. And it looks like PGE Foundation and longtime champion of the Dougie Center uh, and, and an incredible supporter of the Dougie Center and Gwyneth Gamble Booth, it looks like they're coming through the thread and they're not only giving Brennan a gift of $5,000, they're giving a gift of $7,500 oh, tonight. We happen to be standing in the PGE Foundation living room. That is who sponsored this living room. So oh, wonderful goodness. supporters. Thank you so much. Again, if this level of giving speaks to you, make that support known here and now. We're so grateful for every gift that's coming in tonight, helping us to get that much closer to our goal tonight of raising $500,000 to ensure that this incredible service, incredible work here with this nationally and internationally acclaimed peer support model can continue to be brought to children and families who are grieving the death of a loved one. And again, our levels of giving continue on. Those, that formal showcase of support continues on. And, and as we move into that next level of giving, and I want to remind everyone that every month hundreds of children, teens, and young adults walk through the doors of the Dougie Center along with their adult family members. And even though we're not actively engaging in support in that way, the Dougie Center has pivoted to provide this virtual suite of services right here and now. And Every single opportunity is provided at no cost to children and families. They're able to find that safe haven of support at no cost. And families who are seeking these supportive services at the Dougie Center are able to participate in this internationally acclaimed model free of charge, thanks yeah. to the generous support, unwavering support of friends like each and every one of you that are tuned in at home tonight. So again, as our moment of giving continues on and we segue into that next formal level of giving, that of $2,500, if this level of giving inspires your support, if, if a gift of $2,500 feels like the right touchstone for you tonight, click that donate button right here and now and champion for the work of the Dougie Center because no child or family member should grieve alone. So again, click that donate button right here, right now. And we're getting through on our, our chat feed here that our friends at Pacific Corp are gonna match. They're gonna provide a matching challenge tonight, Brennan. So it looks like they're gonna match the first four donors that click the donate button right now with a gift of $2,500. That is amazing, that's amazing. Long time Dougie Center supporters and Ryan Flynn, who is, uh, serves on our board of directors, represents Pacific Corps. Thank you to our friends at Pacific Corps for this $10,000 matching challenge. Again, right here, right now, they're gonna match the first four friends that click that donate button with gifts of $2,500. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Pacific Corps. And we've got donations coming in right now. Felice Belfort and Paul Litwin Litwinski. Am I saying <laughs> that correctly? Felice Belfiore and Paul Lit I, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not get Paul's last name right, but Felice is on our board of directors. And, and Paul, thank you, both of you, for all the work that you do. Felice is our treasurer, and she just does a beautiful job. So we're, we're grateful for your support. Thank you. We get so excited when these names are popping through our online giving platform, and they're, they're showing up, and we're wanting to make sure to honor each and every gift that comes in um, tonight to champion for the work of the Dougie Center. So thank you, thank you. Jim and Linda Walton are contributing a gift of $2,500. Thank you to the That's Waltons amazing. joining us at home. Jim, also a board member. This is phenomenal. Thank you so much to our generous, generous board of directors and longtime Dougie Center volunteers. 
And Brennan, that support is continuing to come through our feed. We've got Sumi Kim and Ron Liu with a gift of $2,500. Another volunteer. Sumi is a volunteer facilitator. This is amazing. Well, you can see that there's so many friends of the Dougie Center watching at home who believe in your work and want to celebrate celebrate your services here tonight with these contributions. Amazing. So thank you. Randy Bohm is watching from home. Randy, thank you so much for your gift of $2,500. And those gifts keep coming. Todd Lindsay just gave a gift of $2,500. Greg Reif is giving a gift of $2,500. Thank you so much, all of you, for your continued support and celebration for the work of the Dougie Center tonight. Again, if a gift of $2,500 inspires you, click that donate button right here, right now. Again, several formal levels of giving that we'll move through. And as our moment of giving continues on, we just really want to emphasize tonight that every gift is so deeply appreciated, regardless of what, what level of giving that you're choosing to take part in tonight. You are part of the Dougie Center's journey, that continued journey to allow for these services to be extended to grieving children and families. So thank you. You know, our next formal level of giving is that of $1,500. And as I'm sure Brennan would say as well, this is a very special level of giving at the Dougie Center because gifts that are presented um, at this level of giving in particular sponsor one child and their parent for an entire year. You know, over 2,000 people accessed the Dougie Center programs last year alone, um, out of which were 1,300, 1,300 children that were enrolled in the program for a full year that were eligible for child sponsorship. And right now, we have the opportunity to provide children and families coping with the death of a family member with the opportunity to have direct access to this nationally and internationally acclaimed peer support model, again, at no cost. We can make this happen through our contributions tonight. We can do this simply by clicking that donate button right here, right now. And we're hearing that our friends at The Standard hope to inspire generosity from our viewers at home. So here and now, The Standard will match the first six donors that donate a child sponsorship at $1,500, a matching challenge totaling $10,000 right here, right now. Amazing, huge thank you to The Standard. Absolutely. So again, if a gift of $1,500 speaks to your heart and you'd like to provide that direct child sponsorship support right here, right now with a gift of $1,500, click that donate button. And we have Ryan and Bonnie Flynn joining us tonight with a gift of $1,500. Thank you. Tyson Smith is joining our donation feed here tonight. Thank you, Tyson. Thank you so much, Tyson. And it looks like Tyson's joined by Rob Stackhouse is sponsoring not one family, but two that's so, amazing. You can double it. Absolutely. <laughs> Rob Stackhouse is giving two gifts of $1,500. Oh. So thank you so much. Thank you, Rob. Karen and Whaley Chong. Oh, we wish we could be with you tonight. Longtime friends of the Dougie Center. Absolutely. They're giving a gift of $1,500. Barbie and Burke Rice are joining us with a gift at home of $1,500. Oh, Barbie and Burke. Barbie was a volunteer for 27, 28 years in our program. Thank you so much. This is a very special gift that just came in, Brennan. Dr. Donna Sherman oh, with Donna. a gift of $1,500. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. Tyson Smith is joining our contribution feed here and now. Thank you so much. Stacy Simpson. Amazing. Megan Brown. Hello, Megan. Joining us at home. Thank you for, for being part of tonight's celebration and choosing to showcase that support in our child sponsorship tonight. Oh, Karen so Chong nice. joining us tonight with a gift of $1,500. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. This is just amazing and wonderful. We really appreciate this generosity, knowing that every child who walks through the doors of the Dougie Center deserves to have a safe place. And virtually, who even if they can't come here right now, they still have a safe place to express their grief. Absolutely. I'm going to personally give a gift of $1,500 oh, <laughs> for a child sponsorship tonight. And I encourage all of you who can and feel inspired to do so to celebrate the work of the Dougie Center, click that donate button right here and now. And again, champion for this incredible foundation, this nationally and internationally acclaimed peer support model that is providing such significant hope, healing, and connection for children and families that are grieving a death. It's just there's there's no place like this, and that's why this has, has really created such a, an international following of, of support. It's yeah. just an incredible service um, that can only be found here at the Dougie Center. Well, and again, I wish I could hug you, but I, I can't know. because we're, we're six, <laughs> over six feet apart. But I will share that you just inspired me, and I will also sponsor a child at the Dougie Center this year with a $1,500 
contribution from myself and my husband Steve who's watching at home. Wonderful, excellent. So again friends, if you feel inspired to join us here tonight, we would be honored Looks to like see that support come in. Scott Horsfield has come in with a $1,500 gift. That's amazing. Thank you, Scott. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Again, contributions at any level of giving are greatly welcome tonight. Each and every gift is meaningful and impactful to the work of the Dougie Center. And as our moment of giving for our child sponsorship continues on, our next formal level of giving is that of $1,000. And we're honored to announce tonight that we've received word that our friends from On Point Community Credit Union wish to inspire giving from those tuning in at home. So here and now, On Point Community Credit Union will match the first 10 donors that click that donate button with gifts of $1,000. Again, another matching challenge totaling $10,000 tonight. So thank you so much to our friends at Amazing. On Point Community Credit Union joining us from home, celebrated supporter of the Dougie Center providing this matching challenge tonight. So if a gift of $1,000 inspires you, click that donate button, turn that $1,000 gift into $2,000 of support thanks to this generous matching challenge presented by On Point Community Credit Union and empower the Dougie Center and their continued efforts to support every child, to support every family seeking comfort, to support every child and family in the midst of their grief. So friends, make that support known. Take part in this matching challenge. We've got Scott Howard and Lucy Kibble giving a gift. They're watching from home. Hello to you all. I think Sarah Howard's tuning in as well. And they're giving a gift tonight in honor of Gwyneth Gamble Booth. Thank you. Amazing. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Natalie Hawken with a gift of $1,000. Amazing. Thank you, Natalie. Alana Heiser Spellman and Paul Spellman are joining us from home, coming into our donation feed. Thank you. Michelle DeBrewer and Steven Nelson are joining us as well with a gift of $1,000. Thank you so much. And that support is continuing on. Brendan, we've got friends of Joan Schweitzerhoff in honor of her birthday, oh. giving a gift of $1,000. Joan has worked at the Dougie Center for 28 years. So happy birthday, Joan. That's amazing. Thank you to friends of Joan for that. We've got Greg and Cecile Reif giving not one gift, but two gifts of $1,000 tonight. <laughs> Amazing. And that support, friends, this is so exciting. You know, for, for, for those of you that have attended the Reflection Benefit before, you know that this is a highly celebrated event. You know that we gather together, that so many friendships have developed over the years at this, this incredible celebration. And we miss seeing all of you here tonight. So as Brennan and I are seeing these names pop through on our donation feed, this is making me really excited. It's really kind of resonating the feel that we would have if we were together because we are in fact together. We might not be able to be in person uh, together tonight at that, that traditional celebration, but we feel your support here with us tonight here at the Dougie Center. So thank you so much for joining us and making these contributions known. Susan Grayson is joining our donation feed tonight. Thank you, Susan. Wayne and Lois Forsgren are joining. Thank you. Longtime Dougie Center volunteer, Wayne. Absolutely. Susan this is volunteers awesome. in our office. It's amazing. Hoke Martin is presenting not one gift, but two gifts tonight. Thank you so much. And that gift is being presented in memory of Ruby Hoke. Thank you very much Ruby for your Hoke gift Gray. tonight. Ruby Hoke Gray. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Julia Tierney and Joseph McLean is giving two gifts of $1,000. Thank you. Again, these contributions continuing to fill our chat feed here tonight, our donation feed. Uh, sh sh am I saying it correctly? Shelia? Shelia, I think. Shelia. I think, but I, I hope I'm not wrong. Shelia Belfore. Thank you very much joining us tonight with that gift. You know, this name is exciting, Brennan. That's popping through our donation feed right now. Lisa Sky Hain and Brian Hain watching from New York. Hello, friends. And actually, they're here in Portland. They they're came, here. They're here. They're yes, here. Oh, they're my here. goodness. Wish we could all be together tonight. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Brian. We've got Buzz Ellis joining us. Buzz Sa and Katie, longtime Dougie Center supporters. Thank you so much. Sarah McIntyre joining oh, us. This Sarah and Joe McIntyre, my cousins. Oh, I love it. I'm from Seattle. I'm so glad you all are watching. Thank you so much. Mike Flanagan oh, is joining us at Mike home. Mike and Peg, they're amazing. Thank you so much. Shout out to Mike and Peg. Rick and Lori Mayfield are giving a gift of $1,000. Thank you. Oh. Layla Cook is joining us tonight. Hello, Layla. Thank you for your gift tonight. We appreciate you tuning in and championing for the Dougie Center. Daniel Young is joining us tonight. Amazing. 
Nikki Branicki, thank you for your gift tonight of $1,000. Sarah De La Fuente, thank you, thank you. The support is continuing this is on. Amazing. This is incredible. Dr. Christopher <laughs> Petchel giving a gift of $1,000. Thank you very much. Chris and Robert, thank you. We have Shauna and Dan Risner joining us tonight with a gift of $1,000 as well. My word. Kelly Allen with a gift of $1,000. Oh, amazing. Thank you. Krista Di Giacomo. Di Giacomo. Krista and Jason. I needed and that. Thank you. Krista gave a gift earlier today. So that makes her a full, that Krista and Jason's gift a full child sponsorship for a year of services. Fantastic. Thank you. We've got our friends Lauren and Andy Clark, longtime friends of the Dougie Center, joining Aww. tonight in support. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lauren and Andy. Again, these are just several of the formal levels of giving that we're moving through tonight. If you feel inspired to showcase that support, click that donate button right here and now. Join this incredibly generous cast of champions for the Dougie Center tonight. Daniel Allen joining us Amazing. with a gift of $1,000. They're still coming. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I mentioned Krista's previous gift. That's amazing. So again, every gift showcased through our moment of giving is meaningful and it speaks to the work that, that takes place here. And it provides that positive and lasting impact in the lives of children and families that are navigating through their own grief at the Dougie Center. And our next formal level of giving is $500. And as we segue into this level of giving, we're excited to announce that our friends at Greenbrier Associates want to inspire continued giving tonight. They've presented a gift of $5,000 in hopes of inspiring 10 donors joining from home to click that donate button right here and now with gifts of $500. Amazing. So again, you know, what's, what's beautiful here and now, we've had uh, several matching challenges that have been presented by our community at large. And it's such a true testament to, to our, our, our community's love for the Dougie Center and our realization of the support and services that, that you're providing to grieving children and families to move them towards that, that, next, that next phase of hope and healing, to find connection, to recognize those phases and stages of grief, to recognize that every stage of grief is, is, is okay and, and can be part of their, their healing process. And again, we can be part of that journey. We as donors can be part of the continued legacy of support here at the Dougie Center by showcasing that support here tonight. And we've got support coming in, Brennan Shannon and Jeff Gianola are watching from uh, home. Hello, Shannon our serves friends. on our board and longtime Dougie Center friends. Thank you so much. Thank you. Lindsay Klinger and Charlie Kang giving a gift of $500. <laughs> Another longtime Dougie Center supporter and volunteer. Thank you. Kevin and Jessica Saylor giving a gift of $500 tonight. I can't Thank say you. enough about all of these amazing people who are joining us. This is just wonderful. Thank you, Kevin and Jessica. And Dr. Donna Sherman giving an additional gift of $500 tonight. Oh, Again, Donna. <laughs> This, you, you can continue to make that support known. If you want to give several times throughout tonight's moment of giving, we celebrate that and we are so grateful and honored by, by your generosity tonight. Um, Gregory Saliba is giving a gift Greg tonight. Greg and Jennifer, thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, we hope your family's doing well. Yes. We know we always see you at the, at the Reflection Benefit, so thank you for joining us tonight. Andrew and Tia Over, hello oh, to you, to the Overs you. at home. Thank you. Amazing. Lori Grief is giving a gift of $500. Lori and Chad, thank you so much. Thank you. Bob Speltz is giving a gift of $500. Bob, oh. thank you. Dwight, tuning in at home tonight. Thank you for championing for the work of the Dougie That's Center tonight. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Catherine Be Beckoy giving a gift of $500. Amazing. Thank you so much. Martha McMurray joining us oh. here tonight in our donation feed. Thank Martha you. Martha and Greg, thank you so much. Longtime Dougie Center family, and Greg is a volunteer. Joseph Feltz giving a gift here and now of $500. Amazing. Thank you so much. Amazing. Joe served on our board of directors a handful of years ago. Look at all of these tributes of incredible support coming in from longtime friends. Thank you. Chuck and Catherine Rude giving a gift of $500. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Loretta V. Sukail. Sukail, thank yes. you for that. Loretta and Leonard, thank you so much. I have to say that Loretta was a volunteer at the Dougie Center in my group when I came to the Dougie Center 32 years ago. 
There's still three current Dougie Center volunteers that volunteered in my teen group, and Loretta is one of those volunteers. So thank you so much, Loretta and that, Leonard. That's beautiful. And mm -hmm. you know, again, another testament to the incredible community that's built here at the Dougie Center. It's longstanding. It has deep roots, um, and and the outreach uh, of of that foundation is significant. Again, nationally and internationally acclaimed peer support model um, through the support of volunteers, through the support of donors, through the support of leadership. They're able to provide this incredible platform of support to grieving children and families. And again, it takes that, that cohesive, cohesive support unit to make this incredibly important work possible. Our next level of giving is $250, but as we move into that level of giving, I want to emphasize again the impact that COVID-19 has had on the services here at the Dougie Center, which really kind of allows for our support and the need for our support to go even further tonight. Absolutely, yes. So when COVID-19 just started impacting us here regionally, the first call we got where that was a cry for help was from a child life specialist in Washington State and they had a family where the family member was dying in the hospital and, and the rest of the family could not be with them, the kids could not be with them and they needed support on how to navigate that and they didn't know what to do or where to turn and they thought and knew that the Dougie Center could help and that was one of the inspirations for one of many tip sheets that have come since on how to support families in this time. We got an email actually just yesterday that was a forward from a supporter of ours in New Jersey and she was on a listserv and the uh, director of outreach for a YMCA sent out in a mass email to all of their families with Dougie Center resources saying here are resources from a trusted source on how to support your family during this time. We, unbeknownst to us, you know, so it's just, it's, it's been amazing and, and we really, really appreciate the opportunity to support folks when they need it most. Absolutely. And that is only provided through generous support of the community. In incredible stories. And you know, there are so many stories like that that are continuing to um, shape uh, families' lives throughout the world. And Brennan had mentioned, you know, the Dougie Center is a trusted, trusted resource. Here's a tip sheet, you know, that, that friends are sharing um, uh, with, with loved ones that are, are moving through their phases of grief. And those touchstones are only available because of this incredibly generous community of support. So as our moment of giving continues on and that next formal level of giving is showcased, that of $250, if this level of giving speaks to you, click that donate button right here and now. Again, every gift is meaningful. Every gift we'd love to honor tonight. Um, these are just several formal levels of giving. If there's a specific level of giving that's really motivating you tonight to champion for the Dougie Center, we would be honored to celebrate your gift here tonight. We have Han and Associates Inc. Uh, they're coming in, oh my goodness, with a matching challenge tonight. They're gonna match 20 gifts right now of $250. Amazing, amazing. Gary Han was a, a, a board member many, many, many years ago, decades ago. Thank you for that. Absolutely, thank you so much. Again, I want to emphasize that again, Han and Associates, right now, if you'd like to give a gift of $250, they're gonna match the first 20 donors, clicking that donate button right here and now with those gifts of $250, a matching challenge, they're, they're putting forth of $5,000. Amazing, and it looks like Wendy Domries, if I'm saying it right, came in with a gift of 500 that we, we just got. Thank you so much, Wendy. Thank you, thank you. And that matching challenge is receiving a lot of activity right now. Brooke Grease, Greasy is, is presenting a gift of $250. Brooke and Brian, we saw them on the video earlier from Judy's house. Brooke, thank you so much. Brian, thank you so much. Jay Russell joining us in our matching challenge. Angela Melvin joining us in that match. Angela founded a program in Florida called Valerie's House in memory of her mother. Thank you, Angela. Thank you for joining us tonight and for your support. We have Melanie Norby joining in support of the Dougie Center tonight. Melanie was featured on our uh, appeal video. She was one of the families there. Thank you, Melanie. Heather Dorfman joining in this chorus of support. Oh, Heather. Heather was a Dougie Center staff person and a longtime Dougie Center supporter. Thank you, Heather. Julie Van Zant joining us tonight. Thank you. Julie and Rick. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Rick. 
Again, that support continues on. Sally Catter giving a gift of $250. Your gift being matched dollar for dollar by this matching challenge presented by Han and Associates, Inc. Another gift from Shannon and Jeff Gianola. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you both. Catherine Gray joining in with a gift of $250. Alyssa Jackson, thank you. Another one from Julie and Rick, it looks like. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Stephanie Flora is joining in tonight's celebration of the Dougie Center with a gift of $250. And these names keep coming through it's our amazing. donation feed. Thank you so much. Madeline Heiser for your gift of $250. Thank you so much. Hannah Lauer. Oh, Hannah, thank you so much. We really appreciate your support. Amy Varga joining us tonight to champion for the Dougie Center. Oh, Amy, thank you so much. And part of the Dougie Center's incredible team here, Linda Ann Miles joining us at home. Thank you, oh, Linda. We wish we you, could Linda. be with you tonight. Tandy Cooch Cleaver giving a gift of $250. This is amazing. I think we're on our way to making that matching challenge, friends. <laughs> Troy McLarty giving a gift of $250. Thank you, thank you. Holly Kramer. Amazing. And the list keeps growing. Megan Greenow, thank you. Tim Schill Tarbert. Tarbit, excuse me, Tim Schill Tarbit giving a gift of $250. Catherine Barnes is joining in support tonight. Thank you Kathy very much, and Catherine. Mike, we showcased a video on our Facebook earlier of them sharing their Dougie Center story. Thank you, Kathy and Mike. Heidi Bader joining our donation oh, thank chorus. You, Heidi. Thank you. Paul Brandt coming in with a gift of $250. Your gift being matched dollar for dollar by this matching challenge presented tonight by Han and Associates Inc. Thank you. Amazing. Doug Mansfield joining our chorus of support for the Dougie Center tonight. Thank you, Doug. You know, and again, those gifts keep coming in. We're continuing to see our, our chat feed filling up. In fact, this is a good time to say hello to a few of our friends at home. Thank you. We've got John Couteau joining us at home. Um, we've got you know, Donna tuning in at home. Nanny Wadoop, thank you so much. Janine Twining is watching. Hi, Janine. I hope you're well. Lots of friends on our chat feed saying hello. Bob Donations Spouts coming saying in. Hello, thank you, Bob. Kathy Frost, longtime Dougie Center volunteer, saying hello. Thank you, Kathy. We've got Diane Van Gorder giving a gift right here and now. Thank you. Lisa Skyhain joining in continued support. Lisa and Brian, thank you so much. Amazing. Lisbeth Miller joining us. And Wayne Forsgren <laughs> is increasing his support here and now with a gift of $500. So, Wayne, thank you. Amazing. Lisa, Lisa Miller, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. So again, these are our formal levels of giving. Keep that support coming. Keep that matching challenge in mind as you click that donate button. And as we round the corner towards the close of our last formal level of giving, that of $100, I know it's been emphasized already, but I would really like to share the sentiment again that every single gift that's showcased tonight truly empowers the Dougie Center and their continued efforts to convey that grief is a natural reaction to death, that each and every individual has the natural capacity to heal from loss. And that duration and intensity of grief are unique to each and every individual. And that caring and acceptance can assist in the healing process. And all of that can be found at the Dougie Center. And again, all levels of giving tonight help to empower and inspire this treasured work here. So here and now, as we round the corner again towards our last formal level of giving, I'm honored to announce that Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield would like to inspire a surge of generosity for the Dougie Center. So they've presented a matching challenge tonight. Here and now, throughout the remainder of our program, they're gonna match 100 gifts of $100, a matching challenge totaling $10,000. So we implore you, we encourage you, we hope that you feel inspired right here and now to take part in this matching challenge. Click that donate button right here and now. Showcase that support. Have your contribution matched dollar for dollar. It's amazing. Regents has been such a long-standing supporter of the Dougie Center. We just appreciate their community partnership and support. And we've got donations, Brennan, as you can see. It's so cool. This, this, this virtual format is exciting because as those contributions roll in, we have a screen that's showing us this prompt of when gifts are being activated. So it's very cool to see that we've got Carol Halsley joining us with a gift right now to take part in that matching challenge. Angela Wheeler, hello, Angela. Angela Johnson joining us with a gift of $100. Thank you. 
Florence Mary Hausler giving a gift of $100 tonight. Brennan, that, that feed just keeps growing. Joshua, <laughs> Joshua Weiner giving a gift. Caitlin Koch giving a gift. Rebecca Simon with a oh, gift. Thank, thank you, you, Rebecca. Longtime Dougie Center volunteer. All of these names, it's just lovely to see. Chris Delaney giving a gift of $100. John Doan giving a gift of not $100, but $200. So, John, your gift just turned into $400 of Amazing. support thanks to this matching challenge. Thank you. Dee Dee Wilner Nugent, thank you. Oh, Dee Dee. Thank you, Dee Dee. And one of the Dougie Center volunteers, Lori Stevens, oh, joining us tonight. Amazing. Thank you, Lori. Kathy Frost. Hello, Kathy at home. Thank you for joining us oh, tonight. Thank you, Kathy and Ken. Thank you. Jody Brower with a gift of $100. Brennan, this Another is beautiful. Another longtime Dougie Center volunteer. Thank you, Jody. Teresa Elkstrom giving a gift of $100. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Teresa. And Chris Rowland joining in our chorus of support tonight. Chris thank you. and Chris, her husband, Chris. Thank you, Chris. The Chris's. <laughs> Josh Cliver, am I pronouncing that correctly? I'm not sure. I hope we Josh, are. Josh, thank you so much for your <laughs> gift tonight. Debbie Roth, hello, Debbie, joining us at home in Colorado. Thanks for championing for the Dougie Center. Thank you for being part of this continued journey. I know that this work means a lot to you, so thank you for being part of tonight's program. Rebecca Sturgis joining us tonight. Oh, special event extraordinaire. Rebecca is on our team here at the Dougie Center. Thank you, Rebecca. Jean Lou Russo with a gift of $100. Thank you. And Bob Speltz joining in again tonight. Amazing. I Bob love and this. Dwight, thank, thank you so you. much. Christine Harrigan with a gift of $100. Catherine Barnes joining us. Thank Kathy you. Kathy and Mike, another gift. I love That's this. Amazing. I love seeing this continued support. Lindsay Klinger. Thank Klinger. Lindsay Klinger, another, another gift. Perfect. Thank you, Lindsay and Charlie. John Couteau joining us. Oh, John has been a champion for us recently, helping us out with some projects. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. Tiffany Nicole Markle. Thank you very much, Tiffany, joining us from home tonight. Cheryl Roberts, that support continues on. Cheryl Roberts is our program assistant and came through the Dougie Center with her daughter over 20-some years ago, 25-year volunteer. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. Paul Brandt with a gift. Thank you, Paul. Heidi Bader, Doug Mansfield giving again. Laura Martin, Janine Twining, again, these, these, these incredible supporters coming through our donation channels right now. Thank you. Anna Christopherson. Uh, Anna and Ben, thank you. Another cousins of mine from up in Washington. Thank you, Anna. Anna and Ben, sorry. <laughs> Joan Doherty, thank you. We've got Jill Critch, Critchfield, Critchenfield. Oh, Jill and Johnny, thank you. Mike Dorman with a gift of $100. Thank you, Mike. Kemp and Robin Shuey, thank you oh. so much to the Shueys at home. Longtime Wonderful. friends of the Dougie Center. Yes. We've got Rebecca Steed, B Betty White, Jerry Horner, Linda Gordon, Alyssa Lacey. I mean, we can't even keep up with this feed, which is Patrick, wonderful. Thank you. Tony and Phyllis. Melissa Gray, Jennifer Douglas, Tony um, and Phyllis, De, and I apologize, De Cristofaro? De Cristofaro. De Cristofaro. Yeah. Yep. Melissa Gray, Bruce Strayed, sensational support being showcased tonight. With your help, we are getting that much closer to meeting not only all of our matching challenges presented tonight, but that much closer to reaching our goal of raising five hundred thousand dollars tonight to Kaylin champion Stanley, for the work of the Dougie Center. Kaylin volunteer and, and staff person. Amy Craig, thank you. Rob Stackhouse, Michelle Pita, Arlene Light, Daniel Allen. I mean, we want to give thanks to all of these friends here tonight. Yes, yes, it's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ben, this is, it's almost just too much to take in, the, the names that are coming through. Laura from Atlanta, thank you, Laura. Scott Herrick, thank you so much for your gift, Scott. Oh, Camille, thank you. Jim Titus, thank you, Jim, watching at home tonight. Jenny Thompson, Molly Wynn, oh my word, the support continues. Patricia Murphy, thank you for joining us tonight, Patricia. This is just incredible. It's really a beautiful thing. Brianna Thompson, thank you very much for your support tonight. Christine Verontakis, Verontakis? Thank you, Christine. Because we are socially distanced, my friends, we are far enough from our donation feed that we can read what, we, what we're receiving, but we might, might have a, um, a, a few uh, pronunciation errors. So our apologies and our gratitude for the support. Thank you. Steven Fan and Cindy Doctor, thank you both. Megan Brown, thank you. 
Again, this is just one of the, 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 the formal levels of giving that we're closing out with, and we'd love to continue that celebration of support tonight for the Dougie Center. Gifts continue to roll in through our donation feed right here and now, and if you feel inspired to join this growing chorus of support tonight, click that donate button right here and now, showcase your love and support for the Dougie Center. You know, again, I know that that, that support is gonna continue moving, moving through those donation channels here and now. And again, we are truly so incredibly thankful for this generous showcase of support. And as we transition to um, our next part of tonight's celebration, we wanna take a moment to highlight our online auction. Again, those opportunities to continue donating directly to our moment of giving in support of the Dougie Center's child sponsorship will continue on. So if you do feel inspired tonight to champion for the Dougie Center, click that donate button right here and now. Our online auction happening right now. Again, part of it being uh, coming to a close here at the end of our program, um, but the remainder coming to a close tomorrow at noon. And the auction is one of those you know, incredible opportunities for the Dougie Center community to engage, and it's always phenomenally supported year after year. And though we can't gather together, like I said earlier, in the same way that we would normally and that we've grown yeah. accustomed to, uh, we can still bid wildly on tonight's offerings in our we online sure auction. Can. So let's take a few moments to talk just a little bit about some of these fantastic packages that we're highlighting tonight. And remember the rest of the auction will remain open until noon tomorrow, but we have a curated selection of packages, packages one through five, that will be closing at the end of this very program. And the first package of the evening that we wanna just take a moment to highlight is package number one, because it is a stunning aquamarine and diamond ring custom made by the one and only Larry and & Co. And it is sensational in every way. And it has an impressive value. It's valued at almost $10,000. This is an incredibly generous contribution tonight. Yes, Larry Pacos has been a longtime Dougie Center supporter. And I want to just, Larry, personally thank you for over 25 years of generous support to the grieving children and families at the Dougie Center. Thank you so much. Thank you. So again, this is one of those offerings right now. And the current bid is almost at $5,000. We're just a little over, or maybe perhaps it's, yes, a little over $4,000. So we're getting really close tonight. And again, that package is going to come to a close at the end of this program. So if you'd like to ensure that you are the lucky winning bidder, make that support known. Click that bid button right here and now. Our second package is also from very generous and longtime Dougie Center supporters, Joe Chaplin and Doug Browning. It's auction package number two, and it's Stock Your Cellar. It features 36 bottles of wine, but you really need to take a look at the listing of these bottles of wine on the website because they're grouped as vertical comparisons, and they are from award-winning wineries such as Winderlea, Domain Druin, and more. And Doug and Joe just do a beautiful job of putting together these packages. Most of these wines are unavailable to the public. They're from very limited vintages. And if your wine cellar is getting just a little bit <laughs> uh, bare at this point in the pandemic, this item is definitely for you. Check out these wines. Not one of them is valued under $100 and they are just, and they go up from there just amazing selection of 36 bottles of wine. And again, the packages that Brent and I are highlighting right now are the curated featured packages that are gonna be closing at the close of this program. So packages one through five, that's what we're highlighting right here and now. If you'd like to showcase your support and get in on the bidding of these incredible opportunities, make that happen now because these packages will soon be going, going, gone. So place those bids. Package number three is an absolutely fantastic package. This was donated by our incredibly generous co-chairs, Ashley and Mike Gunter. And this, this offering features a week-long stay in their stunning, sensational Sun River home. So we want to thank, thank them so very much um, for their, their incredible long-term support of the Dougie Center and for this very generous donation. Ashley and Mike, thank you. And we heard a rumor that Ashley and Mike have three Zoom parties <laughs> going on tonight. So we want to give a shout out to all of their guests and friends that are joining them via Zoom um, and, 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 and chat. Um, here tonight joining together to support the work of the Dougie Center tonight. Thank you for joining us. Amazing. Auction package number four 
is a fantastic package put together by the Dougie Center's board of directors. And talk about becoming a master mixologist. So you're going to be enrolled in the online master class. And that has an annual subscription. So in addition to cocktails, you can learn so many things, from gardening to cooking to photography and painting. But this, this package will, so you'll learn from this master class how to be a mixologist. And then your bar is going to be so stocked with high-end liquors and mixers and everything you need to create the perfect cocktail. And last Thank but, you to the Dougie Center Board of Directors. Absolutely. Thank you so much for helping to put that package together. You know, last but certainly not least, package number five. Again, this is just part of the curated selection that we're featuring in the online closing that will happen at the close of this program, but the remainder of packages will be open until tomorrow at noon. But package number five is going to provide our winning bidder with a suite to a Portland Trailblazers game for 16 people Four parking passes are included in that, as well as an autographed 2021 Trailblazers team ball. So, of course, that's for the season once it resumes. This is an incredible opportunity to get out and support our Portland Trailblazers and champion for the Dougie Center. We want to, of course, give our sincere and immense thanks to Portland Trailblazers and Chris McGowan, who I believe, Brennan, is joining us tonight in a Zoom party as well with our co-chairs. So thank you, thank you, Chris. Again, these packages will be closing at the end of tonight's program. The remainder of our online auction offerings are gonna to close tomorrow at noon. So make that support known right here and now for packages one, two, three, four, and five, because they're gonna be going, going on in a matter of moments. And I just wanna take a moment tonight to thank all of the sponsors of tonight's event. Tonight's event. These companies have come through for us, most of them for many, many years. But truly, now, during this time when we need it most, our presenting sponsor, Kinder Care Education, Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oregon, The Standard, On Point Community Credit Union, Pacific Power, PGE, The Greenbrier Companies, Han and Associates, Providence Health and Services, Finley Sunset Hills Mortuary, Urban Asset Advisors, and the Varga Group. We appreciate you all so much. Do me a favor and pay attention to that list. And if you can, show them some love. They're just amazing people who are supporting this community. So thank you so much. You know, again, those opportunities to champion for the Dougie Center are going to continue on. The online auction for packages one through five are going to be closing momentarily. You can continue to showcase your support in our moment of giving for child sponsorship. But now is that moment that I think thousands of people tuning in at home have been waiting for. It's time to draw the winning raffle ticket for a brand new Porsche Boxster. Again, as I mentioned at the top of the program, we are so excited at the incredible generosity that's come in to celebrate this raffle. Every year, the Porsche Boxster raffle um, is, is an incredibly celebrated part of the Dougie Center's fundraising efforts. We sell thousands of tickets, and our community has not stopped and missed a beat in their support of the Dougie Center when it comes to these raffle tickets this year. In fact, I've been told that we've sold, as of tonight at 6.15, 1,000 725 Porsche Boxster raffle tickets have been sold, which is an incredible count. It's just phenomenal. It's amazing. And before you draw the winning ticket, Jonna, I just want to say a huge thank you to Porsche Beaverton for their ongoing support and partnership. And specifically, just a huge shout out to Frank and Christina Geary, as well as Karen and Larry Finer. Thank you all. Frank, your partnership and support has meant the world to us. So thank you all. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Because we are following CDC guidelines and we are socially distanced here tonight with a minimal crew, I'm gonna have you come on over. Follow me on over to the Tree of Hope and we're gonna head on over here and we're gonna pull our winning raffle ticket. So we've got our raffle drum over here and we have this beautiful tree of hope that our drum has been placed in front of. And this is really, truly such an incredible symbol here at the Dougie Center. It's, it's, it's the way that children and families are received as soon as they walk into the foyer here. They have this tree of hope that provides them, again, that connection to a strong foundation of supportive services that can only be found here at the Dougie Center. So here we've got over 1,725 raffle tickets in this drum. And I'm gonna give this drum a little spin carefully. Oh my goodness, I wish you could hear the sound 
that 1,725 raffle tickets make when it's filling a brass drum. So we've given this a good toss. And I'm gonna open up the latch here and I'm gonna carefully reach in and I'm gonna feel around and make sure that all those tickets are nice and spread out. And I'm gonna grab a winner. And this is so exciting! Someone here in just a moment is gonna win a Porsche Boxster, brand new, my goodness. Okay, I think I've got the right ticket. Okay, here we go, pulling it out. I'm gonna close the latch before I announce the winner. Are y'all excited? I'm excited. Okay, here we go. All right, Brennan, I have the name of the winner. And normally, if we were at the Reflection Benefit, I would hand the ticket to Brennan, and she would announce the name. But again, we want to be really mindful of our efforts to stay safe, to continue to celebrate a healthy community. So we are maintaining social distancing right now. So I'm gonna walk back over with this raffle ticket, and I'm gonna announce the winner and the winner is Raimundo Felipe. Raimundo Felipe, you are our winner from Washougal, Washington. Amazing, what's the ticket number? So the ticket number is 1358. Amazing, we will be calling you very shortly to let you know that you won the brand new Porsche Boxster. Congratulations, that's amazing. Before we end for the evening, I think we have one of our Dougie Center kids who wants to say goodnight and share a little bit of gratitude. Do we have Amara on hand to share a message? Dougie has helped me through the tough times of my life. Thank you so much, Dougie. I think we're back. Thank you, Amara. All right, well, it's thanks to each and every one of you joining us from home tonight. You know, again, that this work at the Dougie Center is made possible. So thank you for generously supporting the Dougie Center to empower their efforts to ensure that no child or family member grieves alone. Remember, there are still auction items available until noon tomorrow, and packages one, two, three, four, and five well, they're closing right now at the end of this broadcast. So place those final bids. Thank you, thank you, one and all, for joining us tonight. Have a great evening. Stay safe. Be well. It's been our pleasure to be with you tonight. Thank you. And thank you, Jonna. Thank you all so much.